Hello, today is Thursday, September 15th, 2022. I'm Joe Schmidt from TC2, and this is Staying Connected. Today, we're revisiting a topic covered a few months ago, and that is wireline services formerly provided by Sprint, which is now owned by T-Mobile. Why? Because last week, T-Mobile announced they are selling the wireline data services to Cogent for a whopping price of, wait for it, $1. If you're a listener of Staying Connected, you heard Keith Cook and me talk about the operational impact of T-Mobile's questionable commitment to wireline. And then Laura McDonald, Deb Bowling, and I covered the legal issues around the demise of Sprint's wireline services. This latest announcement sheds new light on the subject. To take a closer look, I'm joined today by my colleagues, Jack Deal, one of TC2's managing directors, and Mark Sheard, managing director of TC2 UK. Hey, guys, welcome back to Staying Connected. So, Mark, what do you make of this bargain basement sale? Hi, Joe, and thanks for having us again today. Well, with respect to the topic in hand, we know from what T-Mobile communicated to customers earlier this year that wireline services are not part of their long-term strategic portfolio. But up until now, the message has been sunsetting or retiring the services at some future date, most often stated as three years out. But T-Mobile has apparently shifted that now and wishes to be free completely of the legacy sprint services much sooner rather than later. And unloading these assets via this sale certainly accomplishes that. Okay, Jack, what are the particulars of the announcement? Great to be here again, Joe. Sprint was evidently on the rack at Dollar Tree and Cogent grabbed them. Humor aside, the sale price is indeed a dollar, but that's not the whole story. T-Mobile US will also take a much larger $1 billion charge against earnings to fund the purchase of $700 million in services from Cogent over a four-year period that will run on the acquired network assets. Publications that have been reporting on the transaction report, it's not clear whether T-Mobile even requires these services. Further evidence that t must clearly wants out of the wireline space. Cogent gets the network assets, the portfolio of services that run on it, including things like MPLS, DIA, Ethernet private lines, SIP trunking, UCAS, and managed services, plus 1,300 T-Mobile employees. They also acquire the enterprise customers using these services, plus the $700 million in fees from T-Mobile. All of this basically for a song. The revenues from the legacy Sprint services are expected to double Cogent's total revenues once the sale closes. That sounds like a sweet deal for Cogent, but is it a good deal for Sprint wireline customers? Well, Joe, in our earlier podcasts, you know, from the guys that you called out before, Keith, etc., we raised the need to take stock of your legacy Sprint services. So here we're talking about MPLS, dedicated internet point-to-point IP addresses and even managed services and across those services to to develop a plan to maintain the services over the next couple of years. And here, the unsaid potential risks were the level of service could, likely would, tail off over time as resources were pulled out from the T-Mobile provision. The competitiveness would diminish as they got less and less interested in cutting deals. And worst case, if you were too slow to act, you could actually be left with a cliff for the cessation on some of your services. Well, the cogent deal at least reduces that last risk. You know, you're going to see some service continuity. But what it doesn't do is fully address the other challenges in terms of a potential drop off in the service that's provided and also the competitiveness. And the details of that deal and that transition, they're still unknown. It also has legal implications for customers in assigning contracts. And it lacks clarity in terms of ongoing renewal commitments for services. And without doubt, it's going to lead to some turbulence in terms of moving from Sprint today to Cogent tomorrow. Remember, T-Mobile has already been laying off Sprint staff. And in transition, a smooth move to Cogent is going to be far from certain. So the Cogent acquisition isn't the answer to Sprint customers' prayers, Jack? Well, here's the rub, Joe. Cogent is a relatively small internet transport player. And as part of the deal publicity, Cogent also mentions that one part of its plan is to migrate customers from legacy Sprint MPLS VPN solutions to Ethernet VPLS or SD-WAN DIA solutions. So they too recognize the need to evolve customer solutions just as enterprises should. Cogent's buying access to some new customers. And to be fair, we always welcome providers growing their propositions to challenge the established carriers. However, it shouldn't be a given that enterprises remain with Cogent or on the legacy Sprint services. Quite the contrary, in fact. The reality, if you're a Sprint customer, is that it's fine to consider Cogent for your network services, 
but it remains just as important to look at the wider market of providers to make sure that you don't sleepwalk into a suboptimal arrangement. And perhaps more importantly, you use this opportunity to progress the transformation of your network services rather than slow it down. Okay. Thank you, Jack and Mark, for the update. If you're a customer of Sprint, I mean T-Mobile, I mean Cogent, well, come on, you need to be vigilant. This acquisition of customers by acquisition of companies has been tried before. Just look at GTT. And it doesn't always work out as planned. If you'd like some help taking a closer look at how this transaction impacts you, or you have other ICT needs, feel free to contact Mark, Jack, me, or any of our LB3 and TC2 colleagues by giving us a call or sending us an email. You can also stay current by subscribing to Staying Connected, by checking out our websites, and by following us on LinkedIn.